Oh, I think I think we're I think it's sorted now. Streamlabs decided to freeze. Right, let's actually begin properly. Ready? Let's go. Right, there we go. After a bit of a kerfuffle, Streamlabs decided to freeze itself. I mean, really, Streamlabs, you're awful. Um. But yeah, welcome back everyone. A bit of a last, well not last minute plan stream. Uh, but I was doing some editing and I was like, I want to drive a train. So I thought we'll drive a train. I mean, I've got to get up at about half five, half five tomorrow. So we're just doing one run. Uh, but I thought I wanted to get something in. Oh my God, that is really busy over there. Look at that. The amount of people swarming up those stairs there. Wow. That is busy. Um, anyway, we've got Connor. Oh. Of its uh, announcement things, um, census, uh, sim. This slides not that late. Southern Rex. Uh, how's everybody doing? Loads of jet as well. Yeah, what well, I, I, well, I dipped my toe a little bit. Um, another job ends. Wow. Fair enough. Come what bus company is it now? Um, yeah, I watched a tiny bit of the Antelope Valley preview but I don't really watch much of the previews I just sort of go I don't know into the deep end as soon as it comes out I don't really bother looking at preview uh, our train should be doing relatively soon we're going to do a service to Raynham uh, so in the 700 I thought we'd do a night service as well and I know some people don't like night services and I know it's not ideal for streams as it's dark so you can't see much but it's dark in real life and I thought, you know, why not have a, it's not really a challenge, but a challenging night run. Although, yeah, it's not really that challenging. But this route's, I think this route's got the night lighting on it. So it actually looks all right at night time. It's not like completely pitch black. There are things you can see. Um, apart from that residential building, only having a few lights on at 20 past nine. Oh, nice, uh, Callum. Oh, this is the 465 coming. Oh, where's our one? Ours is the... Is that the second? It's the second one. 2126 it's due in. <laughs> Another blue laser jet. They always leave the best until last. There's that one. Yeah, so you might not be able to see it great, but... Yeah, we're, we're doing a night run. Night runs are fun. I really realise that a little full stop at the end. Then at southeastern and a little full stop. What on earth is the full stop about? Why do you need that? Oh, just get rid of that little dot there. <laughs> Why is it needed? Huh. There might be explosions in the blockbuster. So oh, I see. Hello, Daniel. How you doing? This one's the one to grow. Why is the cab light on? And on this one as well. Bit naughty. Well, I suppose it's not the front one, is it? It's alright. A whole tsunami of people getting off this 465. It's a whole load of them. Look at that. It's really busy here at Dartford. Everybody wants to. Well, I suppose everybody's just come back from London. In mean, 2124. So it's probably maybe a slightly later end time. Well, that one's off. People just. Yeah, not behind the yellow line up there. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh no, yeah, they're yeah, they're out of the way. Uh, last week, the teacher thought kids were blasting music up at the back. Turns out it was you know, oh, What are you doing? Go stand there. I oh, block that, that way. No, okay, it will do. Off that one goes, and we'll hopefully be next. Go to Daniel. One more good. Yeah, so I don't know we've done a night run in the 700, so it'll be quite cool to see how the night headlights and all that sort of stuff. Is it just outside the station? I think it is. I can see something coming in. Yeah, so it'll be cool to see sort of how powerful those um, night lights are. So it might actually be quite a light run. Because I think the headlights on this are pretty decent. So we'll head down to the 8-coach dot marker. And the carry out in Dartford. This is, uh, yeah, it's, no, it is coming in, yeah, this this is it. 
Probably one of the best multiple units to come out in uh, TSW. Now we wait. Here it comes. It's been a hot day, hasn't it? A hot day. I think it was like recorded the hottest day of the year, or was that yesterday? Check station screens. No, it should say rain them. Better Maurice. Right, let's get in. Cool. Alright. Oh, we're actually due out basically straight away. Oh, no, we got a little bit of time. Just a minute to do our little checks and stuff. Let's do the doors. Not trap people on. Ew, no, let's check. It's been good, right? Let's quickly do a little test of the. Actually, let's get the uh, systems on first. Uh, that one. That one. And that one. Right, that one. Uh, night lights. Why are they on daylight? Uh, night lights. See, the headlights are pretty decent. Little test of the. Uh, right, just whilst we're sitting here. Why, no, why is it telling me to switch to AC? Not the way you can hear them all sort of coming off and going on. That's all good. We'll do a running brake test as well. Fair enough, Daniel. Don't blame you. I ain't got long. Then we're out of it. Let's get the uh, cab door shut. And now we wait. So we're all stops to... Well, I assume we're all stops to, uh, to rain and we probably should be. Yeah, all stops to Raynham. Oh, let's check. Right, let's get the uh, doors shut. Right, I think we're all good to go. Let's set that to forward. And uh, off we go. That's not a good start, is it? We're not, we're not moving. <laughs> Uh, oh, hang on, it's not, it's not that, is it? It did say switch to AC mode, didn't it? I don't know why we would switch to AC mode. Yeah, why Why is the power not on? What's that all about? This is not something you expect, is it, when you're starting up? It came in all right. Why is the, why is the power gone off? I think it's completely gone off. Well, no, it's completely gone off. Right, go on, hurry up. Where's my power? You like that voice? Nice. I don't know why it's done that. That's really weird. We'll give it a second. And hopefully we'll get going. Better late than ever, I suppose. Right, ready? Oh, it takes its time, doesn't it? Oh my god, what on earth is going on? It's taking forever. Uh, why, are the, why was the power not on in the first place? I don't say it's broken in it or something. Hopefully not. We'll give it a second. Might as well get these open again. They probably do go. Oh, the lights on. Yeah, they're all good in there. They're not too sure. It's saying going AC mode. So I don't know why it wouldn't do, say, uh, going AC mode. Oh, come on. Hopefully it's not broken, because that would be annoying. If not, we'll just load back into it. Um, uh, load back into it normally. That's all good. It's all good. It's just this. Hurry up. <laughs> right, that's, that's flashing now. That's good. Right, shall we try and get going now? Let's give it a go now. Oh, really? <laughs> it's all fine. Uh, it's bloody broken. No, it doesn't want to go. We might have to come out of this one and load back into it just normally. Let's see. Yeah, for some reason, it's just completely gone. Oh, hang on. We have. Oh, we got it now. We got it. About time. Let's go. That was unexpected. Now we're off. That was annoying. All right, we're off. Bloody ages. I've got to be quick now. Try and be on time. Oh, 
brake test. Yeah, that'll do. Then I'm out of a break in the tram. I'm not really too sure why the power supply was cut off. Ah, but oh well. Yeah, there is the voltage there. I sort of assumed it would already be on. I don't know why it was off. How's it look? Because I mean, the headlights are pretty good on here, so hopefully it looks all right. <laughs> and let's go. Right coaches tonight. No, not five. Connor eight. Connor's on his national rail again. There we go. So yeah, hopefully you can see some things. But yeah, we are doing a night run. I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Uh, as basically 99% of the time we do day runs. Which are better to do for stream. But it's been very good, Callum, so far. It's been very good. Been enjoying it. In fact, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow I'll start with another seven days on. I've had two days off and then seven on again. Early's this time. I don't really like early's. I mean, setting an alarm. I was on a late shift. It's like a normal day. Get up at 11 and go to bed about midnight. Can't see it. You can't really, can you? It's, uh... You probably would see a little bit more of the headlights. I mean, you'd probably be able to see what the light on the trees ahead, wouldn't you? So quite bright, those 700 night lights. Ah, that's what it is, it's sim. Yeah, not good. Surprise at me, how on earth does that even happen? That's not really a good look, is it, on the uh, security? Hopefully we'll see Stone Crossing quite soon. Because, I mean, that is quite soon. There's Amanda, welcome in. Well, I can just about see Stone Crossing. Yeah, coming up to it now. I don't know, does this route have night lighting on it? I know some... Um, some routes have night lighting. I know the Reza Dresden that has night lighting on it. I thought this one did as well. <laughs> Lovely, yeah, come on. Oh, we don't want to be missing a station on this game. On TSW4, if you miss a station, it actually ain't that bad because it will just sort of tick to the next station, which is all right. I want the RLU markers. Where are the RLU? Probably it was an all marker on this one, probably. Here we are. This is a stone crossing. So we're a couple of minutes behind now, so we have to be quite quick. You get three points. Three points for what? I'm not, I like the fact I think the ring is going now as well, so you can just shut the doors whenever you want. Right, let's go Green Hive next. Wait, three points for missing a station? Right, let's go. I still don't know, Connor, if you're on AI or not. I, I don't know. <laughs> who, think, who thinks Connor's a bot? How you doing, Joseph? Did you just sneak in? Where's Joseph? Oh, yes. How you doing, Joseph? I missed you. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Well, no, you won't get points, but you know what I mean. It will tick it off, so then you can just go to the next station. Which is quite handy. Over to a green hive. Hmm. 
There we go, see Joseph, I'm alright. Yeah, definitely. Probably end up doing that on the US route, I'll probably fly past the station. There's no stop markers here, but I'm assuming it, there's a second set of CCTV monitors, and I'm assuming it's on. it would be on these. At least I think, yes, there they are, there. A bit dodgy to see in the dark. There, these ones here. I think there's another set a bit further up. In the dark. There is. Here we are. This is a green hive. That's the ability to make duties, well, like a timetable. I was there with the PC editor, you'll be able to do timetables. Which is quite cool. Not that I'll ever use the editor, but I'm sure I'll see some cool creations from other people. Definitely be using this new scenario planner, though. Here comes another 700. Right, swans come next. Let's go. We are off. What does the fact that one says this? Why does that one say check station screens? Oh no, West Hampton Thames is good. There we are, look at that. Probably can't see it very well, but it is there. So we're just going to rain them. That'll be it. So it won't be the longest of streams, but it's just a, a little night run. So it's probably going to be quiet anyway. And at some point, we'll stream this in the daytime again. I mean, it's not that dark. That's a stream, really. What makes YouTube? What makes it look dark? So what did everyone think of the Antelope Valley line, which the preview was tonight? I watched about five minutes of it. Not even not even five minutes. But what did everyone think? I mean, the distant scenery looked quite good. So we're going past the CMF when I tuned in. <laughs> Lovely, yeah. Uh, uh, Callum. Yeah, see a census. See ya. Right, coming up to Swanscombe. It's on its way, there it is. Is that another train ahead? I see something. I don't think it is, or is it? No. It's not bad at all, yeah. Not uh, not sure the lighting on TSC. The fact they still can't get it right after three attempts is laughable. Yeah, it would be nice to have slightly brighter lights. Then does that have an effect on performance? Don't know. Yeah, it would be nice to see slightly better lighting. I haven't really seen it. I don't think they've done any sort of night ones on uh, TSW4, have they yet? Cool to see how it looks on there. Still running out too late. <laughs> Lovely cannon. Oh, they're four six five there. Not sure why the cab light is on. Right, North Fleet next. I was actually here yesterday. Well, not here, but on on High Speed One yesterday. Went for a little uh, little trip down to uh, Ashford and then back along the coast, all the way back to sort of Brighton area. Good weather for it as well. Nice air conditioned train. Scared of the dark, maybe. Actually, there is something on HS1. I can hear something. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Is that a jav? Yeah, javelin down there. Oh, you probably barely see that, but. <laughs> yeah, 
minutes. It will be a fairly quiet stream, but it, yeah, it, it is a it is a night run. So I just thought, you know, as it's dark outside now, we've never done a night run on the train. I thought we'd um, give it a go. So I don't think we've ever done a night run on it. Yeah, this is uh, North Fleet. It's right down to the end here. I believe they're actually remodelling this station with the um, South Eastern update. Because it's a bit of a barren station. This is uh, North Fleet. Evening, Mickey. How are you? You'd love to drive the Javelins. Well, there is actually a vacancy at the moment, I think, for a South Eastern high-speed driver. And I thought you needed some sort of normal train driving experience to become a high-speed driver, but I don't know if you do or not. I think it'll be Gravesend after this. Hopefully we can make up a little bit of time. Let's go. This must be a very... Um, not tedious, but... A very... What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... I don't know that's me to me pro driver, but um, no, I, I don't. Not not a train driving one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it must be very exhausting. That's the word I'm looking for. Doing the Raynham to Luton runs. It's literally just stop, stop, stop. Every almost every single stop, all the way to Raynham. So, to, was it two hours, two and a half hours? Along the North Kent line, up the Midland Main line, some of the way up. And I'll be doing real train things in about nine hours. Waving the baton in the air. <laughs> Hello, Yoshi, how are you? Welcome in. Down we go. That'll be for the 30 limit. Into uh, Gravesend. There's a jab. Is Travis at South Eastern down to Gillingham? Awful route. <laughs> well, I suppose, yeah, it's, it's just quite a exhausting one to do. I mean, the amount of stops in close proximity of each other. I know there's a bit of a gap between North Fleet and Gravesend, and Gravesend then to Higham and then Higham to Street, but all the Medway bit and then the North Kent line, whole sort of southeastern metro area. Well, I suppose that could be said for any sort of metro-like area. I think the 30 should be beginning quite soon. If I've completely missed the board. And there it is there, 30. And then it's Gravesend. Yeah, late stream tonight. Hey, Archer, been for 32 months. Wow. That's weird, man. That's almost three years now. <laughs> three bloody years. Much appreciated, Archer. That is extremely nice of you. Mm, is it this one here, or is it the one further down? I think it's the one further down. I think that's an 8 to 12. There's a 6 on here, isn't there? 4 to 6 or something? Yeah, 4 to 6, there's that one there. 
the graves end. Fair enough, Callum. Good grief there, Pro Driver. That's not good at all. Concrete block in between graves and then high end. God. That is pretty scary stuff. Yeah, that going through the windscreen, that's that's that. Idiots. Uh hopefully, Daniel. At some point. Right, hi, I'm next. But yeah, saying that, I went to, um, actually went to Dovetail Games. Um, uh, it was actually almost a month ago already, down to Chatham. And I thought sort of Chatham and sort of the Medway area was quite a, you know, just outside of London, probably quite a, not, like quite an affluent area. I'm sure it has its, like, pockets which are quite affluent. Um, but it was really, it was, it was like completely the opposite of what I thought Chatham was like. I thought Chatham, yeah, would be you know, quite affluent. It would be quite a wealthy place, low crime rate, uh, you know, nicest people about. But when I went there, it was literally the complete opposite. I mean, the dockyard was really nice. The naval history, the architecture was really, really pretty. Um, but um, I don't know the bridges. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was it was quite the opposite. That's a good way to put it, Pro Driver. Yeah, it felt quite unsafe walking around it about 8 pm trying to catch the bus back to the station. Not a place I'd visit again, or at least go to past 5 pm. <laughs> oh, hello, I don't know why it's tail lights. Oh, it's RHTT. I don't know what Strood and Gillingham are like. They might be all right. But, I mean, it it was, like, bad. Like, I thought, you know, someone like Crawley was, like, bad. But I think there was even, um, yeah, someone at the train station. Uh, you got the proper high metal fences on the side. Someone literally jumped over. Climbed right up the top, jumped over. I was like, wow. <laughs> I really do want to get into the station. <laughs> but then the m most unlikely of places I was at um, Free Oaks yesterday I was well, going on the train past Free Oaks which is a one coach station and there's a right sort of you know teenager uh, yeah who uh, the first few letters of how you spelt Chatham at Free Oaks I was thinking what on earth are they doing there it's like the middle of the countryside Up on Who Junction. Cool. This is a uh, yeah, Who Junction we're about to pass. I'm just called seeing our HTT train out and about. I think I set this one to September, basically today. School, so under armour bus, <laughs> all the qualifications, lovely. 
and we'll be into high M soon. Doing your announcement still, Connor. Shouldn't be too far to high him. So I've had a little bit of break, so there it is. Oh, yeah, no, mm, ish. Oh, there's a 700. That should be quite soon, though. There we go, I can see it now. Oh wow, it's gone, it's gone quick, isn't it? Wow. Year 11, give me heck. This is high and we're coming into. I think it's right to the end here. So we can speed in. I believe, I think, I believe it's to the end, yeah. yeah it is. A little bit further, a little bit further. There you go, the S-car stock marker. That will do. Cool. Still too late. I mean, it's good we're sort of maintaining that too late. There's that weird power thing at the beginning where, obviously, the previous driver decided they turn off the uh, power supply, which was a little bit confusing. Not too sure, pro driver. I mean, I've got a suspicion. Can I put hello in the chat? Although Bot would then probably go and put hello in the chat. Ooh, lovely. Yeah, I remember it was sort of Callum. I didn't get, didn't get the uh, score medals, but I remember, yeah, it was sort of, it was always nice looking food on Fridays. Cake and hot cuts. Ooh, lovely. Fish and chips. So I remember, no, the, yeah, the school did do that on a Friday, fish and chips. Oh, I remember that. And like you used to be able to get one cookie for about two pound, like one tiny cookie for two pounds. But then like the veg was like, or like the fruit was like really cheap. What are they trying to do? <laughs> I can't decide. Maybe he just loves his train announcements. With a little gap in the tunnel coming out. Soonish. I don't think we're nine, Connor. We're eight. Why don't, why don't we do our train, Connor? Do our train. What stations are left? You tell me. We'll start slowing down to 15 soonish. I want to see Callum. And we, we do not want to be going 70 out of this tunnel. If we go 70 out of this tunnel, we will probably we'll hit something. We'll hit maybe the platform at Strood, maybe go onto the platform. It, just, it will be nasty. Also, I don't want to be caught out by the TPWS, which I would imagine is probably lurking somewhere in this tunnel. Make sure I'm not going too quick. Time in the game is 21... There's the warning board. 21.45-ish? Actually, no, probably a bit later than that, actually. we got a little bit... I can see this signal at the end. That's handy. A little bit further. Just a tad further. I'm just about to see the green light at the end of the tunnel. Me too, Callum. Me too. 
That's because I was like the youngest in the year, so that, that's how that happened. There you go, pop that down to 15. Yeah, quite slow out there. So like, there's always like a slow bit on a route, and this this is southeastern high speed slow bit. Uh, not any more pro driver. I now work for the same company as you. Well, not 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 the same brand, but within the same three letter company. But the company beginning with S. Or the brand beginning with S. As a train dispatcher, which I've really been enjoying. It's been really good so far. I've done, I think, 11, yeah, 11 days now um, since I've passed the ICA. Well, not, uh, not 11 days since then, but 11 days working shifts. 11 shifts since then. It's been really good. So I might see you, depending on if you uh, sign a certain branch line off the Brighton main line to where some Thameslink services terminate. At HRH. Hello Philip, how you doing? This is uh, Strood. Hello, Para. Watching this from a Dutch. Oh, lovely, yeah, Para. Is it the Koplopper? That really cool but weird looking spaceship looking Dutch train. Which is quite cool. Right, the cab is like on the roof. No, oh, nice pro driver. Right, if you want earlies any time this week and you're heading down that branch line, you might see me. <coughs> Goes here, uh, Philip. All oh, right. Yeah, it's a it's a lovely station though. Nice team there as well. Up we go, really slow. Fifteen miles an hour. I think that. Well, I think that. I think when the back end gets off the points, it's then up to twenty. And then thirty once we get onto the uh, Chatham main line. I don't think this train has catering facilities, Connor. If it did, it would be yeah, graffiti over. It would look all a bit horrible. There's a javelin. It's been quite a nice night run. Yeah, so we haven't done a night run on this one before. Well, at least in this train. We've done it in the other trains, but not in this one. Over, I think this is Rochester Bridge. <coughs> and into Rochester. Simple sprint train at the station where we left. Big Utrecht Central. Nice. I mean, you're on the right lines now, Connor. I mean, Thames Link, yeah, but not to Cambridge. This is Rochester. I think that's 
our stop marker up there, isn't it? I know, it's just funny. It. Luckily, the brakes are pretty decent on it. Talking about trains from R4. Well, I mean, it's where the new trains are going to be. Um, and I like driving trains on the game, so I suppose I'll, I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully an updated South Eastern higher speed, which would also be nice to have on trains from R3. Oh, really? It wants us to move 42 yards forward to the 10 to 12 car stop. I don't get it. I suppose that, hopefully that will be but, uh, patched or something. Unless that's where the RLU marker is or the all marker. Probably the all marker. But we stopped on the stop marker, the 8 one. Then it wants us to move up to the 10 to 12. But it's the same for Chatham as well. Same for Chatham. I've got to remember that. Same for Chatham. It's a bit picky about where you stop. Yeah, not only for caps, uh, Philip. No London King's Cross, there is not King's Cross. Would it would have been cool to see the East Coast mainline stuff, and I do think that would have been the much better one to have, and I think it would have attracted a lot more people. Uh, as it's London, you know, any, any route in London is going to probably do quite well. But I mean, it's still the East Coast mainline we're getting. It's still the Azuma we're getting. Uh, and it's a fast bit, a vast stretch of the east coast main line um so yeah i i look forward to it either way and it's a new modern uk route <laughs> or just a new uk route i don't mind the backdated ones but very much looking forward to blackpool uh, preston that's going to be cool my just trains hey alex how you doing Yes, here, Callum. Take care. Yeah, I'll try and come down on that Tuesday, Alex. I'll, t I'll take a look at what shifts I'm doing the next day. If it's the late shift, which I've got a feeling it probably is, it'll be perfect. As then I can, yeah, go on the bus up to Tunbridge Wells, get a train home, have a nice late night, and then, um, yeah, and then, then, yeah, then, yeah. Lovely, yeah. Alex, how was the... You're still, you're still on shift, aren't you? Or have you just finished? What's the Regency like tonight? Yeah, a lot of people have mentioned that, Pro Driver. It's not the most exciting bit, I suppose, for variety. I, I think East Midlands trains run on that bit. I don't know for how far they run on that bit. Um... That's what it's the East Coast mail on it. East Coast. It's, we're getting a bit of it in the game. And I suppose it does maybe open the door for extensions. And it would be great to see it then extended south or even extended north to York or somewhere like that. That's what I hope to see from the middle and main line extensions. I don't know how tricky that would be to do, but. I suppose if you think about it, they're selling this part of the East Coast Main Line, but then if they did bring out an extension, say the East Coast Main Line South, everybody would have to get this bit to then get the East Coast Main Line South, which means they're making more money. That's probably not the way they thought of it, but if they ever did extend it. Yeah, we're going to the end here, because I think it's got the same issue as Rochester, where it has the um, just tells you to go to the end. Uh, Reza Dresden. I know they don't like calling it calling it an extension, but Reza Dresden, the Meissen branch, that technically did get that was a route extension. But they, I know at the time they were like, it's not an extension, it's just an update. But then it was an extension to the pre-existing route. Finish at 23.49 at Uckfield. I mean, who on earth is getting on the Regency bus at that time, Alex? It must be running just air. 
That's those people coming back from Brighton, maybe on like a late shift. Maybe some people going into Brighton on the bus to, I don't know, party at Thursday night, isn't it? Yeah, who's actually on the bus at that time in Uckfield? Or something like Heathfield? Or some Alex? But no, yeah, I, I, I would like to do one of those bus videos. It would be cool to do. No, <laughs> a Regency one. Quite cool. Hopefully we can get the reg the purple Regency bus as well. I mean, that would be, that would be perfect for it. I used to be a bus driver as well, pro driver, lovely. Was that in Kent? Or London, or... See, if I was a bus driver, it probably would be for Brighton and Hove. Or Metro bus, one of, one of the two. Something I would actually really like to do, but it's just, I don't know, the railway is more... I don't know, I think I'd, yeah. Maybe I could do both at some point, like a part-time one or something. I would like to give it a go, though, one day. Oh, 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 I see Pro London. Fair enough. Right, let's, why are we going slow speed up? Up to 50. Four three nine's your bus. Oh, what, for, um, for the next Tuesday, is that? Or is that other bus route now, 439? Hello, Quicko. Hello Liam, you're watching live from Bat. Oh, lovely! You should get us on like the big like s screen they have near the you know Butlins, the plays they do have like a massive screen there. I was playing on there. <laughs> bit of train driving, bit of TSW on the big screen. Oh, nice, Callum. Oh, on Saturday you turn 15, or this Saturday? Well, late happy birthday if it was last Saturday, and have early happy birthday if it's next. Oh, so. What one's four three nine? Is that the oh, is that the Martin Fisher one? That, that, there, there. It's quite a cool one. Four three eight again shortly. Have they got that um, Eclipse two out in service yet? In the new Brighton livery. Ooh. Oh, question for you, Alex. I know you're off, aren't you? Were you off? Ah, oh, yeah, you were off yesterday, weren't you? I say Amanda saw an Omni Decker. Well, she she thought she saw an Omni Decker on the uh, on the Regency. Oh, was there 30, 37 there? Was there an Omni Decker allocated to the Regency yesterday? I mean, that'd be good if you get a Omni Decker. <laughs> Might have hours. Oh, you got a Euro Phoenix. Oh, I see, Alex. The uh, Euro Phoenix uh, 37. No, half ten, am I? Seven hours sleep does me. That's what they recommend, don't they? Seven hours or more. Yeah, we got well still daily videos going on. All right, rain the next last stop. The, the, I suppose the turnaround time, the layover time there is pretty nice. It's like twenty minutes or something, twenty five minutes. I remember it was quite a long amount of time. There's a four six five in that. Uh, no, total trust, no. I mean, I would, I would have, but I am a ambassador for Dovetail. 
So yeah, should should get a key for it and show it off to you guys. Which will mostly be the UK content, because, you know, the UK content, the best content. <laughs> um, as they have tree bar. Oh, I see. Do the others not? I don't know, if I wasn't an ambassador, I, I probably would have pre-ordered it on the first day, just because it's Train Sim World. That's a very lit up 80 sign there. CW4 was so expensive. Well, the prices have gone up, haven't they, over the last couple of years? I suppose it's for most games, though, isn't it? Most prices have gone up. I think Call of Duty, and not that I'm going to be getting Call of Duty, but it's uh, like 70 quid the standard edition or something. It used to be like 40. Ah, oh, see, total. Not too far to Raynham. And yeah, we'll be ending at Raynham. That will be our final, final stop. Something like that total trash. <laughs> That's quite a bit. I mean, was it Modern Warfare 3 they're bringing out this year? Modern Warfare 3 again? That came out in 2011. that down I think it is approach control but I mean they can't assume that I think it, it usually does bring you down and it then flicks to yellow but I mean actually no, we have had a train here before so there could be a train I mean we are a few minutes late so they might let I think the javelin go first or maybe we're holding up the javelin no, nothing on West Coast Way, David. West Coast Way would be awesome, but yeah, no, no, there's nothing, nothing about it. Hello, NG, how are you doing? Come on, change. Oh, maybe we are waiting for the javelin. Oh, there we go, platform zero. So probably holding the javelin up. Well, there should be. There might be a Josh. It is quite late, isn't it? So there might not be. Hey, one pound from Total. Much appreciated, Total. That's very nice here. Your last pound. <laughs> oh, much appreciated. Oh, we're holding up the javelin, then. That is in there. That, yeah, there it is. It's NGM, all right? Nice, Callum. About 15 miles an hour. I think there actually is a TPWS grid here. I believe. So I'm going to bring it right the way down. You can see it just there. I think it's a nasty one as well. That oh, hopefully does. I did have a little play with the Azuma when I was there. But the sounds weren't done or done on it. Yeah, this is, this is a nasty one. I've got a feeling it's five miles an hour. No, probably not five miles an hour, but it's it's not a nice one. Well, there is something nasty that happens. So nice and slow. Yeah, I saw a little bit of it. There's the javelin behind us as well. I 
I know we've been st we have been stopped here before. Maybe yeah, if we're going five and we're all right. Let's see, we just got stopped there again. So I don't think it is the team. I don't know. Yeah, it just just stopped us. I mean, it will do. Probably could go a bit closer though. Under 10 for all TPWS on a grid, so an approach just stops. Yeah, we just got to stop there. And we're going, what, about 4 miles an hour? So that might just be a game thing, maybe. Well, that was fun. That was uh, a bit of uh, southeastern high speed. That has no office there on there. Just a bit, little simple click like that. And then, when's this one back out? This one's then back out. A 28, yes, you get quite a nice uh, layer over here. It's not too bad. All good, all good. Uh, so it's not really much point putting the blind down, is there? As it's night time, we'll do it anyway. Well, that was good. I want to say, yeah, total try. Maybe break driver, maybe. Yeah, I've been stopped there before, though. Is that a teacup? What's that? Hmm. Oh no, there's there's the yeah, that's the teacock there. What's this? Let me turn on the cab light. No, I should know where it is. What is that? What's off? No, oh, there's detonate. No, there, no, there, there must be detonators. Yeah, detonators there. Teacock there. Is that a red flag? I suppose it is, yeah, red flag. Looks like it, doesn't it? Red flag. Mm, I don't think it would be any, yeah. Red flag, I'm guessing. Well, uh, that is going to be it. Uh, let's get that off. Get that shot. That was fun. Looks brilliant, doesn't it? Look at that. Yeah, then that isn't a flag. Cool. In the dark, it's a bit funny, the little things, but yeah. Uh, exploit well, basically total trash here. Turn that is in a pack. Yeah, so check station screens. Is that what they're trying to say? Don't pay? No, no, no. A bit more. Uh, I mean, they're com basically completely useless in the modern world. But you still, even as a dispatcher, you need to know how to use detonators, even though they are literally completely useless. Although, unless every single form of communication was not working, like all the phones were just broken, signal you couldn't get through to the signal, and you had to walk along the track. Even though to walk along the track, you need to contact the signaler. But anyway, um, that is going to be it, everyone, uh, for today's uh, uh, in the stream. There, we can sit in one of the carriages if you want. I mean, when was the last time detonators were actually used on the national network? Like, down here. <laughs> uh, let's sit, uh, sit here. Probably some graffiti there. It'll probably smell of piss. There'll be some litter. Thameslink trains are literally the worst for just messy. And the toilets, oh, they're even worse. Um, but that's going to be it, everyone, uh, for today. Yeah, that'll be cool, Alex. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, for today's southeastern high speed stream. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Uh, links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, uh, thanks all for coming in. Have a lovely rest of your evening. Uh, I'll be back uh, as and when. That's probably the best thing to say. And I'll see you all in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye guys.